Hi, this is Gary at We Shoot. This tutorial will show you how you can easily make an unobtrusive see-through watermark like this one for your images that will help discourage theft. Let's get started now. Press Ctrl N and set background color to white. For this example, I set the width to 1000 pixels and the height to 500 pixels and the resolution to 72. Click OK or press Enter. Click on the T in the Tools palette. Justify your cursor to the left. Choose your font and size. For this example, I pick Cooper Black BT at 100 points. You can pick any font and size that suits you. Set your text color to black. Cursor somewhere inside the left boundary of your image. Type in the text you want. For this example, I used our business name. We shoot. I drag the text close to the middle using the mouse. Go to the Layers panel and click out of the text layer, then click back in the text layer. Go to the Select menu and click Color Range. Click in the black of your text. Since you are using black and white to do this, uh, I would advise going to Fuzziness of 200 and 100%. Click OK. As you can see, We Shoot is now selected. Go to the Edit menu and click on Define Brush Preset. And name your brush preset. I can now delete this file. I will now bring up an image to watermark. It's my train image. Let's go over to the brush menu or hit B. Click on that, and I have a regular round brush. I right click, and I go all the way down to my brush palette, and at the end is the new text that I have put up there as a, as a stamp, and I can stamp it in black. but I don't like black so let's go to white now it's pretty obtrusive so let's say I don't want it to be that sharp and bright so I could change my brush and make it a little less opaque but it, it's harder to do this way. Instead, I'll make a new layer. I'll stamp it on a layer. 
Now I can go over to the layers palette and change the opacity of the layer and that changes the opacity of the stamp. Also I can move it around. This is one way of doing it. But I will show you another way of doing a see-through um, like an embossed look. Go back to the layers palette. Go back up to history and go back and remove the brush mark. Change the white to gray. Doesn't have to be exact, somewhere in the middle. Click OK. Now stamp, now go back up to your brush and stamp it. Now we go over to the layers palette and we can either press the FX down in the bottom of the layers palette or we can double click the right end of, the uh, of that layer and let's go down to bevel and emboss and highlight that. Let's change it from the bevel to emboss. That will make it look a little deeper. And let's go with a little bit more depth. Okay, now we, now we have something set up. Just click OK. Now, go to where it says Normal. Click that arrow on the side there. And let's go to either le Overlay or Soft Light. I'll use Soft Light. Not see through. And as you can see, it looks like it's embossed on there. We can change the opacity, making it less obtrusive. and we can now flatten our image. I'm going to save this image to my desktop as a, J, as a low res JPEG. I click JPEG, desktop, click Save. I usually pick a resolution of around 7 or a quality of 7. This makes a 333.3 three, kilobyte file, which is really small. And I click OK, and it is now on my desktop. Thanks a lot. This is Gary at WeShoot. Have a great day.